The Tesla Powerwall is an amazing home storage device that really simplifies energy storage for the residential customer. So now that you have your system installed, I wanted to go over a couple basic operations uh, that you can control with your app. The, the two main modes are backup mode and self-consumption mode. In backup mode, uh, your system is going to charge to 100% and it's going to stay there. Uh, Basically, you're just reserving that for the event of a power outage. Keep in mind that the power wall is only going to be charging from your solar in the daytime. For self-consumption mode, the power wall is going to feed your home energy in the evenings while also charging every day from your solar. So it's a great way to use your power wall and exercise all that energy as well as you know, power your home from solar even more efficiently. So those are the main two modes. There's also a time of use mode. We don't have that in Washington. And in, uh, in Oregon, you can opt in, but so far there's not a ton of customers actually doing that. If you do want more information on the time of use mode, it's a little bit more complex and you should probably contact us directly to help get that set up. Um, but basically, your system is just running without any, any intervention. You don't need to do anything. And it's charging from solar every day and it's, it's there in case you have a power outage. So during an outage, that's when you really wanna make sure you understand what your app is doing and how your system is running in your home. When the power goes out, the power wall is gonna kick on and it's gonna power any of the loads we've set up. And that could be a whole home backup or a partial home backup. It you know really depends on your specific situation. But basically, you're gonna get a notification on your app and it'll tell you there's a power outage. You may not even notice this power outage has happened if you have a whole home especially. The lights may flicker, a couple of appliances may turn off for a moment, but it's a pretty quick switch over. If it's the daytime, your solar will actually start to power the, the, the power wall and keep that charged up. But keep in mind, it does take about five, maybe even 15 minutes for the inverter to sync up to the power wall. So if you see an error message on your inverter, don't worry about it, just wait a little bit longer. Also, if your power wall was in backup mode and it was already at 100%, uh, we have to wait till that, uh, the battery discharges uh, around 90% before it'll be able to accept a charge from the solar. So if you see any air messages on your inverter, just give it a little bit longer uh, and that should sync up and start producing. Something to keep in mind though is when you are in a backup situation and you've lost power, go around the house and make sure you've turned off unnecessary loads. Try not to do a load of laundry. Um, <laughs> just make sure you're conserving power because you don't know how long that outage is gonna be and you wanna make sure that you have as much energy as possible uh, to keep your fridge going and keep your lights on. Uh, if you want more information about different loads and how they, uh, how they work in your home, you can give us a call and we can walk you through your specific situation.